Good morning, my darlings. Welcome to a new vlog. You guessed it. It's gonna be a cozy, rainy vlog from the Cotswolds. Starting off the day with Reforma Pilates. Oh my goodness, it is absolutely raining cats and dogs. I don't think I can actually remember a time that we had this much rain. The roads are completely flooded around here. All of the dryness and the mud from the fields has flooded into the roads. It's bedlam, but managed to get to my later than usual Monday morning Pilates. I was on the flight to California when the classes went live two weeks ago, so I missed my usual 7.30 um, booking, but managed to get a 9.45 with a lady called Saskia and her classes are really tough so i think i might do a few more of saskia's classes something a little bit different but it's definitely the kind of day that i am just going to head home probably light the fire do some work in the living room with the dogs and the fire lit and make a really nice cozy warming soup for lunch i've got loads of courgettes that i picked yesterday before the heavens opened and i've just picked up some onions some garlic and some cream so I think a nice cream of courgette soup is on the menu for today but my goodness it is it is miserable it is rainy but it sure does feel like autumn has officially arrived okay back home again i've had to turn the overhead lights off because it just makes it so orange in here but i feel like i'm cooking in the dark um i'm gonna make as i mentioned a creamy courgette soup it feels like a while since i cooked anything on here with you but it was really nice to see that in the fashion mumbler survey that um thousands of you took part in one of the things that you guys said that you really liked was the recipes so i'm really glad to hear that I am just gonna make something that's really warming and really cozy. So I've got a nice selection of courgettes here. This recipe is 700 grams of courgettes. So it'll probably be three or four of those. Um, we also need 50 grams of onions, a garlic clove, veggie stock, salt and pepper, butter, and it says cream cheese, but I'm just gonna use good old cream. So without further ado, I'm going to start by chopping up my onions and a clove of garlic and sauteing those. I'm going to do mine in the Thermomix, so I only have one bowl to clean, but you can absolutely do the chopping by hand and then um, blend up at the end and heat everything together on the stove. But if you've got a Thermomix, it's just so easy to do it all in one place. cream and the butter and then blended it all up. Now the all important taste test. I haven't added in any herbs yet so I might get some fresh thyme from the garden. Oh my gosh. If you're a soup lover that is the number one excuse to get a Thermomix because it just makes soups so easy but I'll show you some risottos and like curries and things in here soon as well. All right let's see. Oh my gosh that's good. Mmm. That is absolutely delicious. I can't wait to eat this. I'm going to put the lid on. We've got um, a call now, which is probably going to be about an hour. And then I'm going to make some nice herby croutons, toast some seeds and um, have this for my lunch later. Okay, you've seen me make these loads of times before. My homemade croutons. We've got a seeded sourdough that I've chopped up, olive oil, salt and some Italian herby seasoning. Going into the agar for about 10 minutes. Here is my soup for lunch. Excuse that little slop on the side. We've got a cream of courgette soup with a drizzle of olive oil, a mixture of seeds, and my homemade croutons. And it looks and tastes absolutely delicious. Bon appetit. 
Hello again my darlings, it is um, three and a half hours later because of the torrential rain today it's very much been a laptop day so I've actually been exceptionally productive which is great but now I need some laptop free time, my eyes are starting to turn into dry sandbags, <laughs> that's a nice thought isn't it? Um, so hydration station, quite literally I have got a new hydration station so fun fact, one of the things, I think it was last month or the month before, one of the products that you guys purchased the most from our links, because we like to track everything, um, I'm a little bit of an analytics nerd actually, we like to, as a team, ensure that we know what you guys are liking, what you're not liking, and I like to see which of the random things that I talk about, because let's be honest, I talk about everything from compost to designer handbags there's quite a wide range so i always find it fascinating fascinating to know what you guys love and one of the things actually the thing that you bought the most of on amazon from our links last month was my water filter i think we're all becoming quite um a lot more aware that um there's kind of like a two-prong approach two-prong approach <laughs> with water um first of all the water that comes out of our taps there are a few questionable things that we get in our water and it varies depending on where you live here in the Cotswolds I like to think our water is quite pure but I think that if I did a test it would probably scare me quite a lot but also the fact that you can add things into your water to get more out of it like minerals I like to use my electrolyte powder because we're just simply not getting the same um, goodness or even purity from our water as we did decades ago so yeah lots of you purchased the water drop water filter that I did have down here by the in the dog's bedroom in the pantry but I now actually have it upstairs in my dressing room so that I can just always have access to it but so that made me want to get something new for down here and something that anyone that has ever visited our house will know is that <laughs> this little guy as adorable as he is, he is not the most effective kettle in the entire world. In fact, I would say this kettle it takes around 15 minutes to boil. It's adorable, it shakes and rattles when we want boiling water, but boy oh boy, sometimes when you need a cup of tea, you just don't want to wait 15 minutes. So, this is my jazzy new water filter from Waterdrop again, the same brand as my other one, and I thought Seeing as so many of you loved my other water um, filter that I would talk through this one as well. So it's the Instant Hot Countertop Reverse Osmosis Water Dispenser. Now whenever I've gone on any websites, because I do like to research things like this, um, everyone talks about reverse osmosis. I actually don't thoroughly understand the science, but I know that it's what you want to look for in your water filter. Plus, this one also makes your water hot in just one tap. You can still get room temperature, but you can also get hot water, which for someone who loves a cup of tea, or a mint tea, or a foraged rose hip, whatever it might be tea, I think this is going to be epic. So I'm just going to very quickly put it together. There's literally like three steps to putting it all together. So let's do that. This is the filter. It says six in one multiple reverse osmosis membrane filter, and this came with it. So let's pop that in there. Okay, so I have um, read the instructions for the setup. There are literally three steps to complete. I always put off setting up things like this because I think they're gonna be really complicated, um, but it's not. So what it's doing right now is it's flushing water from the tank into the pure water area, um, and I can see a little percentage. So apparently I just kind of leave it to do its thing, which is probably, I imagine, gonna take like five minutes or something. So. We'll come back to this in a second, and in the meantime, Charlie's just come down, so I want him to explain a very exciting opportunity. You look very the Godfather-esque with the two sausage dogs on your lap. Told you to leave on the day of my <laughs> daughter's wedding. Yeah, <laughs> your right. son's wedding. Well, no, it's a daughter's wedding. I, know. Only, I think it's on the day of the daughter's wedding, and you can ask for a favour. But you've only got two sons. I've got sons at the moment. Hopefully in the future I'll have a daughter. You've got a flower in your eye. Right, what okay, is your uh, exciting, exciting announcement? announcement. <clears throat> if you follow us on Instagram, which I hope you do, and if you don't, please... Do. Well, how, how do you YouTubers do? Please uh, hit the link down below. Um, 
But yeah, no, um, if you follow us on Instagram, you'll know that the second cottage, second of Straw Top Cottages, Straw Top Cottage number two, is finally finished. Um, and we have opened up booking from sort of middle of no, well, early November. So we've got a month just to allow for sort of checking it out ourselves. We're going to stay there ourselves, really to make sure that everything runs as it should. And we are excited to uh, give your audience and our lovely subscribers the opportunity to win a stay. So it's a three night stay. It's the stay is for the six week period between when the cottage opens and the end of the year. So hopefully if you're around sort of middle to end of November or December, obviously excluding Christmas, the prize is for those days. And it's a three night stay, but in addition to that, we are gonna put a little hamper in there of all of our favorite British brands, in addition to the normal amenities that you would get at the cottage. Mm -hmm. um, so more more like candle, uh, local gin, things like that. People on TikTok cannot believe how generous we are with what we normally provide. Well, good, good. That's yeah. part of, you know, we've had, it's funny, we have people say, oh, it's, you're too generous. Look, it's our business, it's our joy, and it's not all about making money for us. It's also about giving people amazing experiences, sharing the part of the English countryside that we feel fortunate to live in. Mm -hmm. And it honestly does, I'm not just saying this sounds cheesy, but it fills us with joy to read the reviews in the book yeah. and the Airbnb reviews. And we share these on Straw Top's Instagram if you want to check them out. But we've had some lovely reviews recently. So anyway, so it's to win a stay. And the reason that we're doing this is ultimately we want to grow our newsletter subscribers. We're making a lot of changes and putting a lot more time into our newsletter. And yeah, we want to reward the current subscribers. What's going on? He just looks so sad and dopey. Who, Dickie? Look at that face. He's so livid that he can't go out into his garden. Oh, no. But just quickly, aren't we offering more than that? Aren't you well, organising no, so like yeah, so brunches? Yeah. So, okay, let me do the tag. The top line is win a three night stay at yep. Straw Top Cottage number two. Yep. You will become one of the first ever guests to stay there. Mm -hmm. If you win and you book for early November, for middle of November, you'll be one of the first. Yeah. Um, potentially, you might be guest three or four, but you're going to be early. So, oh, he's off. Um, I want so that's to number break one. Free. It's also going to be a beautiful hamper of our favorite British brands. On top of that, we've partnered with our favorite cafe, which is 15 minutes from Straw Top Cottages, Quinton Clover. So they've kindly said a brunch, very generous, a brunch or lunch for four people. Wow's a trouser. So that's brilliant, because obviously it sleeps four, so this is for four people, plus two dogs, maximum of two dogs. Um, we insist that you bring a dog. Yeah, and then in addition, another local favourite that we probably don't talk about enough, we have talked about, is Farm and Table, which mm, is at Wickham, Wickham Park Farm Shop. Apparently they've so, got their pumpkins out already. Have they? Yeah. So it's a lovely local farm shop, that's, that's under ten minutes from Straw Top. And that's a dinner for four people plus a bottle of wine. And they do British tapas in the evenings. So Ooh. that's going to be really nice. Oh. So to be completely honest, plus the amenities that we leave, you'll have enough for breakfast and brunch every day you're there. And you've got a dinner covered. So yeah, so that's the prize. In order to enter the prize, you have to be subscribed to the Perennial Post, which is our weekly newsletter. Mm -hmm. The good thing is, and what we feel excited about is it, if you're already subscribed then you're in with a chance of winning yep. so it's not a case of we're only rewarding new subscribers we want to continue to reward people that subscribe and support the channel mm -hmm. um and we probably won't be able to because we've had a lot of interest in this cottage we probably won't be able to offer these kind of giveaways again with regards no, to the stay i think this is the last but, one but we will continually be looking at monthly opportunities to Treats. reward our subscribers so this yes. if you don't win on this occasion there will will be future opportunities yeah yeah maybe one of them eventually can be a, a meat dexter and dinner. <gasps> that would be, be cool, epic and we go and meet we can meet today and you defenders meet. and dachshunds what do you reckon dicky yes. i'm not a big fan of new people i can't promise that i won't uh, bite you uh, uh, i'm yeah, a we'll bit have to sign a health and safety declaration form yeah. before you meet Dickie. you can come and meet them but please don't shout at us if um, it has a go so at yeah, you so very exciting um and to those of you that yeah that, that already subscribe to the newsletter you're also going to be entered mm -hmm. chloe picks it chloe who is an amazing team member here at Fashion Mumbler HQ will be picking the winner at random mm -hmm. um, and emailing them. People might Friday. wonder why it's called Fashion Mumbler and just let everyone know that's our very old blog name. Yeah, so Fashion Mumbler, it's interesting you mention that because you know, I don't know if you've talked about it with your audience, we're going and having a bit of a branding chat this week mm -hmm. with an agency. We've been talking about it for about two years, about maybe even longer, about rebranding because the channel's grown with us, our audience has grown with us, and a lot has changed for us. Yeah, we don't really identify with fashion so, mumble. Yeah, so fashion mumble will always be an important term to us, won't it? But I don't think it's quite the right 
name for us anymore. We've had a name in mind for a couple of years, but we're we're going to try and solidify that on Thursday, aren't we, with, with some yeah. professionals? But so it's exciting. Yeah. Um, but the newsletter, yeah, keep it. And if, if if you don't, you know, separate to the giveaway, please do subscribe to the newsletter because, and please do comment on the video what you would want from the newsletter. At the moment, there's lots of hints, tips, ro you know, Sunday roast tips, gardening tips. We've been doing perennial of the week. And it's our there's perennial. always a discount directory as well. So any discounts we've got with brands. Exactly. And we'll keep building on that. Yeah. And, and also any, to be honest, as we approach that sort of time of year, dreaded the C word for Christmas, <laughs> we'll obviously be sharing gift guides and sort of exclusive content on there. Yeah. And, and because we want to grow the database and grow our ability to interact with people on there, we will mm -hmm. be sharing exclusive content on the newsletter that yeah. potentially won't be accessible anywhere else. Mm -hmm. So yeah, please do hit subscribe and we're always open to suggestions on how we can improve the newsletter. Cool. I well, think that's we a very a contribution from Dicky. It What's would Dicky it... been daydreaming about this week. Today it's Dickie's chasing rabbits. Daydreams. I love to chase squirrels, but I've never caught one. No, never. I I dream one day of meeting Harold properly because every time I meet no, him, the he one that curls wants up to in a ball. Harold. Yes. Yeah. He's my but, hedgehog friend. Yeah. But, but um, we refuse to go outside in this weather. This is crazy. Twelve weeks worth of rain in one day. Glorious. Absolutely yeah, glorious. Absolutely. Right, darling. Well, thank you. That's a very generous get offer. Work, but it's exciting. Get back to work, mate. And please also follow at Straw Talk Costures because we're going to be sharing a lot of lovely content on there soon. Yeah. On Instagram. Mm -hmm. Um. We, we've had, I think we've got twenty-five thousand followers, so it's still amazing. But yeah. you have over five hundred thousand subscribers, so. Come on, folks. Come on, guys. <laughs> Dickie would like to request that you follow Straw Top Cottages on Instagram. That's all, folks. Okay, I appreciate that may not have been the most exciting time lapse, but the water filter has gone through all of its kind of setup systems. Now I have this screen where I can choose the temperature. I would love to go out and forage some leaves for a nice um, tea, however you guys have seen the weather today so I'm going to use the apple, chamomile and lavender infusion tea bags from Dalesford and have a nice cup of this tea instead which seems far easier. So I can choose from various different temperatures on here. I've currently got it set to 95 degrees and if I press this star button it will add that um, temperature to my favourites so I don't have to toggle between all the different temperatures. So this is very exciting, I have never in my 32 and a half years of life had instant hot water so this really is a big moment for me. very excited by the fact that I just made a cup of tea and then immediately poured myself a cup of cold water from the same device within 20 seconds of each other. I know that a lot of people have had like hot water taps for a very long time but I've never had one and so for me this is just very very exciting. So this is officially my new favourite gadget. Um, you can get them on Amazon, so I'll leave it linked down below. Not only is it hot water on demand, but also reverse osmosis filtered water. Yay! I'm so, so happy with this. So now that I've got my tea, I am going to... Oh, and also, something jazzy about this one is that you can set the quantity that you want. So previously with my original one, I have to stand there and press the off button when it fills up my glass, but if I know that this glass is say 350ml, I can tell the machine to only pour 350ml of water so then you can walk away and do whatever in the 15 seconds that it takes to fill up, um, and also stops you from spilling hot water everywhere, so very very clever, I'm very very happy with this. It's probably going to live in the pantry, so I'll move it around in a second. But what I'm going to do now is I've been wanting to make cookies for a very long time, and I want to make some almond butter cookies. So I've got this smooth almond butter that was in my last Well Easy order, and then I'm just going to use eggs and sugar. Really, really simple. I have also got some cacao, so I thought I would just blitz up a little bit of this in the Thermomix and then have some of this in there as well. I was gonna do a nice oatmeal-y cookie, 
but I don't have any oats. So um, yeah, we're just gonna do a really nice, yummy almond butter cookie. So I'm doing 250 grams of smooth almond butter, 130 grams of sugar, Again, any mixer will do. You don't need a Thermomix, but if you have, you can do it in here. I'm gonna do a speed four for 20 seconds. Going to add in the tiniest pinch of sea salt, and then just stir in some of this cacao. Okay, the cookies are in the oven. They taste delicious, at least the raw dough does. Um, I am very guilty of always not finishing my tea before it gets cold, so from its new home, let's adjust the temperature again up to 85 degrees, take off the child lock. Yay! This is truly the most exciting addition to our home. Do you guys think this is exciting or am I just really quite dorky? Possibly the latter. Yay! Oh my gosh, I've never had such instant access to tea before. This is the dream come true. Living the dream. The tea dream. Now, I'll be the first to admit that they're not going to win any awards for their beauty but my goodness, they taste absolutely delicious. They've got the perfect amount of melted chocolate in the middle. I just made two little mini versions from the leftover cookie dough and I've snuffled those, but I think I'm going to go in for a full size one as well. Yummy. Well, so far this has truly been the least glamorous vlog of all time. I have been in the same outfit all day and I've just been to take the bins out, which means full, Full raincoat, wellies, got completely rained on, but never mind. So the cozy autumn evening will now officially begin. It's six o'clock, I'm gonna take my makeup off, pop some nice skincare on to infuse my skin while we cook and eat dinner. Charlie wants to do a roasted tomato and aubergine pasta. I would quite like to do a cavolo nero and courgette pasta, but I think I'm willing to I'm willing to give in if he's very insistent on his roast tomatoes because to be honest any kind of pasta dish I'm happy with. Um, before I do my skincare, I've got to sacrifice my nail. This is very boring chat, but this nail here you won't I don't think you'll be able to tell it's actually completely broken across half of one side and a third of the other. And I've been really dragging this out and not wanting to cut it, but today it's actually getting quite painful because it keeps bending and it's just it's like fingernails on chalkboard, so I think I'm gonna have to get nail clippers. Ooh, so horrible. I first broke it in the airplane, um, what do you call it? Seatbelt on the way out to California, but I managed to <laughs> deal with it while we were out there. But now, yeah, unfortunately, it's a shame because all my nails are a really nice length at the moment. I'm gonna try and get them redone this week, but yeah, I'm gonna have to, <laughs> gonna have to cut this down and then take off my makeup, so let's get cracking. Okay, I've got my tools. I'm gonna use nail clippers. I don't know why I'm giving you an update on cutting down my nail, but it feels like a pivotal moment. Oh, oh, this is so sad. I'm sorry, lovely nail. I'm gonna do this off camera. <laughs> Okay, that is a great feeling, cleansing my face for the day. I have used, of course, my Eve Long cleansing balm. You can use Josie 20 to get 20% off this. Uh, and now I'm going to mist my face with the herbal toner from the organic pharmacy because this has got green tea in it, so it works really, really well if you're about to use a red light mask. And now you guessed it, I'm gonna use my red light mask. So I know you guys have seen this in a previous vlog, but this is the series two of the Current Body um, Red Light Mask, which I'm absolutely 
obsessed with i think it is quite possibly the best investment you could possibly make for your skin if you watch that video the very second that it went live um where i first mentioned this i may have got a little bit carried away and um i actually put the video live before this mask had even gone on sale so it is officially now out um and you can use josie cb to get 10 percent off it's just the best thing you can do for anti-aging for skin collagen production and this is the new and improved version which has it actually reaches it's got three different wavelengths which go to different depths within your skin so it targets both the top layer which gives you like brightness and firmness and glow and then the middle layer and the bottom layer which really helps with the collagen so incredibly anti-aging amazing technology and um research that's gone into this i think it's 399 pounds my code will get you some money off it's something that i would just recommend so 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 highly so yeah i'm just gonna faff about now um file down my nail because i managed to snip off the top of it oh my gosh i look so weird i look like a little hammerhead shark um yeah but it needs a little bit of filing so yeah <laughs> that's me for the next 10 minutes and then i'm gonna go down and help charlie cook he has persuaded me that we should have the roasted tomato and aubergine but i'm happy with that i'm just gonna add in lots of cheese <laughs> veggie pasta the fire's lit and we're about to tune in to possibly all creatures great and small which is our favorite comfort watch on autumn evening okay back up to the bathroom and i'm going to use some of the beauty pie um, bath oils in the bath tonight. These smell exactly the same as the Bamford ones, but a fraction of the price. And then, what else? I'm gonna light a few Bertioli candles. And this is a lovely bath oil. I do like to mix and match. Vitamin and mineral remedy, and this is from Seed to Skin. So it's going to smell absolutely incredible. Good morning, my darlings. It is now Tuesday morning. Please excuse me while I <laughs> brush out my very, very tight little curls because I um, curled my hair this morning and then put it up in little clips. In fact, these little clips here, which I have just taken out while waiting for my coffee, a slightly unexpected train cancellation this morning. I say unexpected, I should have predicted that the trains would be a little bit messed up today because I will pop some photos on the screen here of the state of our village, which is really, really tragic and awful for um, quite a lot of the residents that live down at the bottom of the hill. Unsurprising because of the amount of rain yesterday, I showed you quite how torrential it was and obviously the rain has just been streaming off the fields. It looks as though the verges have got waterfalls coming into the road. It's absolutely bonkers the amount of water that fell yesterday. Luckily I don't think we're due any more rain today but the fields between London and Marlebone are completely flooded so my trains have all been cancelled so I'm doing a little bit of a detour. I think I'm going to have to get a train into Reading and then into London Paddington, which means I'm going to be an hour later into town than I had intended today, which is a little bit of a pain, but it could be worse. I think that there are a lot of people in a lot worse situations right now due to the flooding, so I won't complain over a train altercation. So this means that I have an extra 25 minutes before I need to get on a different train this morning, so I've come to the new Starbucks in Banbury. I'll hold my hands up and say I'm not I'm not a huge, huge Starbucks lover, but I like to get with the spirit and have a seasonal drink. So this is the salted maple and pecan, pecan, I think it is. And I asked for only half a pump because I do find the syrups a little bit sickly and I just like to have a tiny subtle hint of those autumnal flavors. So hopefully she will have um, just popped in the perfect amount. So. I've got a couple of meetings this morning and then a really, really lovely lunch event with Clay Depot at Claridge's, which I'm really looking forward to. I've actually bought my nice heels with me <laughs> that I'm going to get changed into for the lunch, popping those and everything else in my bag. And then at four o'clock, I'm heading over to the Monmouth Street Boutique, the Elemis Boutique on Monmouth Street. <laughs> my brain hasn't plugged in yet and I've got a facial which I'm so looking forward to but anyway I'm not going to chit chat too much because can you imagine if I actually miss this next train so let's put the train station into my sat nav because actually I'm not sure how to get there from here all right I'll see you in London 
Okay, I've come straight into Holland and Barrett. Um, I was watching a vlog of Em's the other day and she came in and she grabbed loads of really good little essentials. So I thought I would have a look around. This is the one on Marble Arch and it's huge and really nicely laid out. So something that I'm on the lookout for is ashwagandha. It's got lots of different health properties but a really nice way to help reduce your stress levels. <laughs> What I like about in here is that they've got all of the information about the different ingredients and what they're good for, so you're not just kind of going in blind. It's quite a lot of information here. And it's also really interesting seeing where they've got natural ingredients, like the kind of things that we learned about on our foraging day. I didn't know you could take bee pollen tablets, that's quite interesting. And we learned about royal jelly at our um, beekeeping experience at Silent Hill, and they were saying that it's just basically the purest and absolute best kind of honey that I think the queen produces so I'm not too sure on the health benefits though also I managed to get a very very sneaky last minute appointment at townhouse on um, their marble arch store and they managed to fix my nail so I'm so impressed that they managed to squeeze me in so last minute but I thought I'd try my luck so Maybe easier to show you on this hand. I've got um, Bayab Dolly on now and a top coat of um, Oyster. And they've done an amazing job, so I'm very, very grateful to Townhouse. Okay, this is what I was after. Ashwagandha supports emotional balance, relaxation, and general well-being. I was listening to a podcast the other day and they were talking about ashwagandha and I thought, yep, yeah, that sounds like the kind of thing that I need. So I'm going to grab one of these and then let's just have a little look around. I've never, um, well, we had a small Holland Barrett in Brixton when I used to live there, but I haven't been in one in years. Functional mushroom section. Ooh, this could be a more affordable alternative to my dirty. They have got loads of different mushroom products if you want to give it a try. Mushroom blends, they've got capsules, they've got teas. So many different ways of consuming your mushrooms. They've got loads of different electrolytes. I love my ancient and brave one, but be intrigued to know what's so special about these ones. Let's see, they have got quite a lot of ingredients. So I'll stick to my Ancient and Brave, but electrolytes are so good for you for keeping mega hydrated. That is very interesting. So they're selling Irish sea moss. So obviously I've just been um, picking up sea moss from Air One and they're advertising it as weight control. Didn't know that sea moss was, um, oh no, it's the ingredient wakame. I've never even heard of that as a weight control supplement. Interesting. And I hear a lot of people talking about this, Form Nutrition. That's a chocolate peanut flavored protein. I bet that is delicious. Vanilla protein, that was another ingredient in the Hailey Bieber smoothie. Maybe I need to try this out. If anyone's tried it, let me know if it's good, if you rate it. And this is really interesting as well. So this is a plant-based pea protein, um, meant to be a really good source of protein, I think, especially if you're vegan. So it says you can stir into soups or cereals. Let's have a look at the ingredients. Literally just pea protein. That's really good. I might give that a try, um, especially as Charlie and I are trying to eat less meat in the week, but we want to keep up our protein with our workouts. And if you want to get into foraging and you want an idea of what can help you, it's quite interesting to look at things like this. So for example, red clover. Didn't we find a kind of um, clover? And this can give you some ideas on how it might actually help you as well. These have got things like bulking agents in them. So if you can pick it free from the ground, you are winning. They've even got a nice beauty section. Antipodes was one of the very first brands that I ever worked with. When I first started my blog, they had an afternoon tea at the Barclay in Knightsbridge and it was such a lovely event. Their gel cleanser is gorgeous. Loads of skincare products. I like the sound of this. Super facialist, salicylic acid clay mask for purifying pores. Might have to give that a try. Okay, I definitely didn't know they did food. And look at this, you can get a matcha capsule that works in your Nespresso machine. I think I'm gonna have to give that a try. That sounds almost too good to be true. Let's give it a go tomorrow morning. They've even got all your almond butters, your honeys. They've got healthy baking products. Oh, had no idea there was so much um, variety in Holland and Barrett. I'm gonna have to see where my closest one to home is. These sound quite nice, like little um, mixes. Oops, 
and bean mixes, roasted yellow peas, green peas, and fava beans. Yummy. Okay, I've got my goodies. Now I'm gonna have a little look in M&S. Apparently, they have got some really fantastic um, dupes of Doen dresses, and I feel like you can really find um, some great little gems in here. So I thought we'd take a little look around. See, even straight away, a sweet little cardigan like this. That's 40 pounds, but the quality is so much nicer than so many other stores. Like, I don't think you'd get this um, for that price in Zara. But it's beautiful, really nice quality. This is adorable, and I have got something almost identical in my Netta Porter basket, which is like 300 pounds, and this is 35 pounds. I'm gonna get the M&S version. Now, I don't know if you can see it very clearly here, but this green dress in this marketing image is gorgeous. It could definitely be Chloe. Um, I don't think they've got it though, unfortunately. Obviously these images are up for like the whole season. So I'm definitely gonna have to keep an eye on the website. If anyone has spotted it and has a link, please let me know. But really nice colors. They've got lots of burgundies and browns, very on trend. Some sleeveless vest tops, nice. Okay, I know this is very boring and practical, but I picked up a t-shirt bra in um, Victoria's Secret and the girls were like, no, don't get it from here, get it from M&S because they're a fraction of the price. And they are, they're perfect. That is definitely not an A cup. Hmm. Let's see if they've got any nice strapless numbers. I mean, this is literally identical to the one that I was going to get from Victoria's Secret, but a fraction of the price. So many different colours you can get. Want something a bit darker? Jackpot! This is exactly what I was after. Something strapless. Brilliant. Okay, the lacy ones I really like, but they don't have in my size, so I'm gonna have a little look online because this is just the most practical bra style. I've grabbed the non-lacy ones, which is perfect. Ooh, I forgot how great the Rosie Feminess collection is. These are nice, pearly styles. Okay, anyone that's watched my channel for a little while will know how obsessed I am with M&S Heat Gen, the thermals. And I've just grabbed a couple of their shaping shorts. I mean, they look like skims, but they are a fraction of the price. And these are amazing if you wear chunky knitwear and kind of body fitting skirts and dresses because you can tuck your knitwear into the shorts and then it always gives you a seamless finish is my ultimate kind of autumn winter outfit hack and these look great and they are far more affordable than skins as well i was hoping they might just have some like plain brown or nice um pattern thermals i like to get some new ones every year but i'm not a huge fan of this new color and this is the um this is the much thicker one i prefer the really thin ones let's see if they've got them like this yeah, like this. They're so thin and you just put them under everything. Stops you from getting itchy from your jumpers and also just so, so ridiculously warm. Yeah, I wish these were brown. It looks brown in the photo, but they're definitely black. But these and these, my two best secret wardrobe hacks for autumn and winter. I didn't get to catch up with you as there were just so many lovely ladies there to chat to but we just had the most gorgeous lunch here at Claridge's a real real treat and um, it was to celebrate Hannah Coco Beauty on Instagram I adore her page um, it was to celebrate her being the radiant ambassador of Clé de Peau Beauté I have got a newly formulated Le Serum which is one of my all-time favorite skincare products in the goodie bag to try out which i'm so excited to try out later but now i am leaving this beautiful spot and heading over to monmouth street to elemis for a facial so let's get going so here we are 23 monmouth street this is the fabulous elemis flagship that I bought you to a couple of months ago and this is where you can come and get incredible facials. I've got the freeze and sculpt. Let's go in and have some pampering. darlings it's Wednesday morning now I didn't want to end the vlog um, without without talking to you so 
Picking up the camera again this morning. Yesterday was such a lovely day in London. I'm so glad that Elemis were able to squeeze me in for a treatment yesterday. It didn't end up being the Friesen sculpt. Um, it was because basically Elemis have got these incredible Vizier machines, which you might remember, if I've still got a clip, I'll pop it on the screen here, where you put your chin on the little chin rest. It scans your face, it tells any areas of oiliness, areas of dehydration, areas of sun damage, and then they can basically suggest to you a treatment that's best for your skin. So she said that actually I could really do with um, a blast of hydration and some decongesting. So that's exactly what she did. And the end of the treatment, you lay back on the bed and the bed actually vibrates, not like a massage bed, it's more sending actual vibrations through your body. You've got these big earphones on. I don't know if my camera will have timed out at this point, probably and you've got a sheet mask on and then you've got an LED mask over your face. You're listening to like meditative, meditative <laughs> classical music. Your eyes are closed, you're under this mask, you're cocooned under a weighted blanket. My um, ring told me that I had a full cycle of sleep during the treatment, which is amazing because I actually only got two sleep cycles the night before. So the best place the best place in central London to literally recharge yourself. It was so relaxing. I was probably snoring at like 100 decibels. The ladies in the store were very polite. They're like, no, of course you weren't. I, I know that I snore. I am a big snorer, when, especially when I'm at an angle because you're not fully lying flat. But my gosh, and my skin feels amazing, felt amazing straight away. So highly, highly, highly recommend those Elemis treatments. I just want to put my clothes from London yesterday into my um, my fashion fridge, my LG Styler, because they're at that stage where they're not dirty, but they definitely need refreshing. I always, I can, I can literally, in my skin, in my lungs, in my clothes, I can feel the pollution in the air in London. Um, and I don't like the idea of putting something back into my wardrobe when it's been out in London. I don't know if that's a bit weird. So the dress that I wore yesterday, which received so many compliments, so many people said how much they loved it, looks black, but it's brown. I don't think I took any full length pictures or even showed you full length, but I think I have tried it on for you in the past, hopefully. It's from Reese. It's knitted on the top and then more kind of satiny silk on the bottom. I'm going to put this in the fashion fridge. And I also wore my, oops, my Gucci cape for the first time. It's that time of year where you can get away with wearing capes because your arms are out. So you can't really wear them in the deepest, darkest winter unless you've got a thermal on and then a knit. I guess with a polo neck you could do. But I love this. It's the kind of item that I know is going to be in my wardrobe absolutely forever. And I will probably pass down to my grandchildren. I'll still be wearing it in my 80s <laughs> if I'm lucky enough to get that far. Yeah, I absolutely love this. So this is going in the fashion fridge as well on the delicate wool setting. And I'm even going to put my shoes in there. These are obviously fabric. They are my Vivaya boots. I did over 10,000 steps in these yesterday. A lady on the train um, asked me where they were from and she said she was gonna buy a pair in every color. So these are gonna go in the fashion fridge as well. It'll just help to steam clean them, blast them clean, and in my mind kind of cleanse a little bit of London pollution off them. And in this cupboard in the corner of the pink room, this is where the fashion fridge lives. So the boots, I'm just gonna put them down there at the bottom, shut the door, turn it on. And because of the Gucci cape, I'm putting it on the wool setting. I'll press go in a second when I've unboxed my Clé de Peau goodie bag with you. So what that does is it's kind of like having a kind of like having a dry cleaner in your house. We got it a few years ago as part of a collaboration and to be honest it's a big huge piece of kit but we've got the perfect cupboard for it and I do use it a lot but I would say especially in winter but also if you've got like silk blouses I pop them in there as well. So Yesterday we also had the most glorious, literally my dream menu, lunch at Claridge's with Hannah, who is Coco Beauty on Instagram. I've adored Hannah for many years, and um, we were celebrating her being the radiant ambassador of Clay de Poe. And also, we were celeb- oh my gosh, this is so cute. This is adorable. We were celebrating the re- um, recalibration? Reformulation, that's the word, of- oh, where is it? 
I hope I've got one in here somewhere I can show you. Well, it's probably going to be inside this which is the new Clé de Peau beautiful little um, bag. Yay! <laughs> this is Le Serum. And sometimes when I meet people um, and they say, Josie, what luxury, luxury skincare would you keep buying if you lost all of your skincare one day and you weren't doing the job that you were doing, what would you repurchase above the £100 mark? So I want to know what luxury skincare I really, really, really rate. I always say, Le Serum. Le Serum, you apply it first thing when your skin is completely cleansed, nothing else on. This helps to activate the rest of your skincare and really it's kind of like wakes up your skin. It makes a huge, huge difference. So, um, a first step serum that maintains skin's youthful look by promoting one of the keys to critical skin renewal. With continued use, you see re increased radiance, smoothness and plumpness by improving visible signs of aging. Formulated with lemon, myrtle extract and kelplex helps preserve the skin's youthful qualities and with radiant lily concentrate, our exclusive ingredient for unlocking the power of skin intelligence. Lots of words. All I know is that my skin looks the healthiest and most radiant when I use this. So I'm excited to try the reformulation. They were saying that when they discover new things at Clay de Peau, they don't just release a new product because they know that everyone's got their routines. They instead build that discovery into their existing range. So really excited to see that one. This is just adorable. Ooh, minimalista. We've got a little goodie in here. Oh, cute. It's like a pearly hair clip. That is adorable. I love things like this. By the way, I've just noticed that on my camera screen, the black bars are here and normally they're here. So I really hope this entire vlog hasn't been filmed in the wrong format, like more square. <laughs> We've gone back to square TVs instead of widescreen. Hopefully that's not the case. Um, but how cute is this? Clay de Peau release. Do you know what? Annoyingly, you can't actually buy these. They are made exclusively for special events, for press gifts. I feel very lucky to have a couple of these. My favorite one is the cream boucle, but my gosh, that is so cute. So there we go. Also in the goodie bag, we've got the hydro clarifying lotion and the protective emulsion. So you'd use the serum, then you'd use this, the hydro clarifying, and then you'd finish with your emulsion. And I think this is SPF, yeah, SPF 20, which I think, I know some people are like 50 every day, but I'm, le you know what, I'm leaning towards dropping it down to 20 in the winter. Let me know your thoughts on that. I feel like SPF is a hot topic these days. Some people, I know Liz Earl is very vocal, for example, on being anti-SPF. I don't know. I think a little bit of protection is a good idea. So there we go. Right, I need to get ready because Lauren is here and she's currently training Charlie. I've got a PT session. So I think what I might do is film a few bits from my PT session because I haven't showed you that in a while. And then I'll bid you farewell because I'm gonna start a new vlog. I think this one's getting quite long. Right, I'm gonna get ready for the gym. This light is very cold and very mean, but this is my gym outfit this morning. This lovely olivey green color, this set is from Varley. They're a really nice height on the leggings. I find Varley leggings are my favorite combo between like sculpted and fitted for a great workout, but also they're soft enough and just comfy enough that I just wanna wear them all day, as I often do. If the workout doesn't make me, sorry, gross, but pour out with sweat, then I'll probably just stay in my Bali workout outfit all day. Um, really nice cropped top as well. And then I do weightlifting in my Vivo Barefoots. It's the closest thing to being barefoot, so you really feel like your foot grips the ground. So yeah workout outfit of the morning. Okay, I'm gonna wake up my fabulous water drop filter. This is the RO Reverse Osmosis. Uh, it was in this vlog that I unboxed it with you, wasn't it? Yes, yeah, sorry, I'm repeating myself. Um, I'm gonna increase the quantity. Okay, it's not quite 900 mil. There we go. Place my bottle in here and temperature is currently at 23 degrees. That sounds about perfect. This thing has honestly been a game, been a game changer in the past 48 hours since we got this. I've never had quite so many cups of tea, um, but it is certainly keeping me really hydrated, which is what we need for autumn and winter to keep ourselves from getting a bug. And 
I believe I'm going to have um, a link in the description box down below and a discount which can get you up to $700 off this device, which is amazing, um, mega discount, so yeah, for discounts and everything, check my description box down below. Charlie is blitzing it on the assault bike, that is my least favourite thing to do. But he's a bit of a nutter and he's training for high rocks. completely out of breath. That was an epic session with Lauren. <laughs> As you saw, I used the horrible assault bike at the end there. It really does just absolutely blitz you, but we had jump for my love on full blast, which really got me through that last set. It is, it's just such a killer move. We did loads of weights today, lots of glute activations, but it was a really, really good session, just over an hour and some nice stretching at the end. The sun is also starting to come out. But my darlings, I think I'm gonna end the vlog here. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you have enjoyed it. Everything that I've worn, mentioned, discount codes, etc., will all be in the discount, discount box? Description box <laughs> down below. Um, hope you've had a wonderful day and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and leave the word weight either this kind of weight or W-A-I-T, I'll leave that up to your discretion. Leave the word weight in your comment if you got to the very end. And thank you for watching, really appreciate it. I'll see you in the next one, bye.